Hi, everybody. Welcome to Storytime with Miss J. I hope everyone is having an amazing Friday again, just like last week. If you're having an amazing Friday, shout really loud so I can hear you, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so glad that all of you are having a great Friday too. My name is Miss J, but I want to know all of your names. So say your name really loud so Shimmer and I can hear you, okay? On one, two, three. Okay, so we have Cindy and Lee and Haley and Chloe, oh, and Josh and Mike and Jeannie, oh, and Jenny. Oh, and Hazel, and Michelle, and Chad, and Matt, and Gina, and Anne. Oh, so many wonderful people. Honestly, Friday is my favorite day of the week because I get to spend the afternoon with all of you. Let's all say, hi, Shimmer. Hi, Shimmer. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad that it's Friday. Me too. I'm so glad that you could join us again, Shimmer. I have a question for our friends at home. Oh, you have another question? Oh, I can't wait. My question for our friends at home is, what is your favorite mythical creature? Wow, that's a really fun question, Shimmer. But I think some of our friends at home might not know what a mythical creature is. So I'm gonna give them some examples to help them out. So friends at home, an example of a mythical creature could be a unicorn, a dragon, a genie, an elf, ooh, a vampire. This is a nice vampire. <laughs> and an ogre, ooh, like Shrek, ooh, and a werewolf. Oh, can we all go, ow! and a fairy, ooh, beautiful fairy, and a mermaid. A mermaid? Yeah, a mermaid. And it's funny, because it's such a coincidence that you ask that question, because the book we'll be reading today is called Julian is a Mermaid. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that I asked that question today. Me too. <laughs> but first, we need to know what your favorite mythical creature is and my favorite mythical creature is. Shimmer, what's your favorite mythical creature? Well, I really love fairies because they're shimmery and pretty like me. <laughs> That's a good mythical creature. My favorite mythical creature is like our book, A Mermaid, because they're unique and they're body positive and they're expressive and colorful and creative and fun. So now that I've introduced our story, I'm gonna read what it says on the cover right now. But before we get started, grab whoever is next to you, cuddle up, maybe wrap yourself in a blanket or get a snack. Or if you have this book, take it out and read along with us. And let's read. Julian is a Mermaid, written and illustrated by Jessica Love. And this book actually got the Stonewall Book Award. And this was actually Jessica's first published book ever. This was the first book that she ever wrote. And yeah, she got an award. So, so. every Saturday morning, Julian and his abuela go swimming. But the day Julian spies three women on the subway, everything changes. He is entranced by their beautiful hair, their swishy, shimmery mermaid gowns, and their total confidence. When Julian gets home, all he can think of is becoming a mermaid himself. But what will his abuela think? Utterly mesmerizing and full of heart, Jessica loves author illustrator debut is a radiant celebration of individuality and a triumphant win for unconditional love this is just the first cover art for underneath Ooh, all the women in the pool 
And it's really hot today too. I would love to be in that pool right now. Oh, that looks so refreshing. <laughs> Julian is a mermaid. This is a boy named Julian. And this is his abuela. And those are some mermaids. Julian loves mermaids. This is him thinking about becoming a mermaid, transforming. And he's oh, transforming to a mermaid through self-expression, which means that you show or say or present how you feel or your thoughts or ideas through art and music and dance and fashion and owning that. Ooh. So all these beautiful animals are helping Julian get all dressed up as a mermaid. Vamanos, mijo. This is our stop. Abuela, did you see the mermaids? I saw them, mijo. Looks like a, again, a hot summer day, too. <laughs> Abuela, I am also a mermaid. I'm going to take a bath. You be good. Julian has a good idea. Ooh, I wonder what he's going to do. Looks like he's transforming into a mermaid. Oh, he looks at the, at the curtains and oh, what does he make it into? Oh, a beautiful mermaid tail. I like the way he does that beautiful tail and his hair. Oh, oh, uh-oh. I wonder what this abuela is going to do. So he starts to take some of the stuff off and he was looking at himself. But then his abuela says, come here, mijo. For me, abuela, for you, Julian. Where are we going? You'll see, says Abuela. Mermaids, whispers Julian. Like you, mijo, let's join them. All those beautiful costumes and sea creatures beautiful and they do the end so that was julian is a mermaid when i was looking for books to read for this i was thinking you know what I want to find some fun books that tell stories about friends at home like you guys and different colorful books and uh, books about different people and places. And when I saw this book, I just had to buy it. Well, one, because Miss J loves mermaids, so of course I had to get it for that. But also because it was about a confident little boy who wasn't afraid to dress up and imagine and believe in himself. And so I thought, you know what, this would be a fantastic book to share with all my friends at home. My question for all of you is, how do you express yourself? Do you do self-expression through singing or dancing or art or writing or fashion or anything else? Wow, those are awesome ways to have self-expression friends at home. I'm so glad that you could share all of those with me. The way that I exhibit of self-expression is through singing and dancing and even reading to all of you. So now, time to talk about next week's book. This is called ADHD and Kids Like Me by Annette Fournier. 
this one actually is really special for Miss J because she knows a lot of people with ADHD. And so she really wants to share this book with all of you. It's about kids with ADHD and their superpowers and, and their day-to-day -day life and how they get through it. And so I can't wait to read this to all of you next week. So I think it's time for Shimmer and Ms. J to say goodbye. So until next week, have a great Friday, have a great weekend, and have a great next week.